Nico Boo in the chat says, slow down, Dom. We can't keep up with you. So Dom turning this thing into, looks like into a, ooh, looks like he's, he's turning it into something. Maybe he's running into a little SolidWorks giving him a hard time. So here we go, the second battle between Dom and Lotos, and wow, this is a good one. You're going to see here in just a moment, I was very excited during the broadcast. And I get excited because I like seeing people implementing really solid workflows and really navigating through the software quickly. And if you're ever looking to get some practice at navigating through your 3D CAD software, be sure to visit us at TooTallToby.com. We've got the Practice Models app. We've got over 200 2D to 3D CAD challenges, and you can get started totally for free without even signing up for an account. So visit us at TooTallToby.com. And as always, let me know down below, what did you think about today's battle and what did you think about this model? Maybe nothing, 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 nothing. All right, here we go. Guys, back to the wheel. Let's find out what this next battle is gonna be. You gotta win two points to move on in this tournament. We saw Mr. Alex has secured his spot in the round of eight. Congratulations to Mr. Alex. You need to win two points to move on. Dom has one point, but he's up against our number six seed and our absolute speed modeling wizard in the world of speed modeling on the Too Tall Toby website. So let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna shuffle these before I spin it. Here we go. Shuffle, 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 and spin. Guys, what does the Wheel of Fate have in store for our runners? Okay. Challenge number three. This is going to be a good one. I think we're going to see some pretty cool stuff in this one. So again, huge shout out to Lotos, our number six seed. Huge shout out to, to Dom, our number 10 seed. Good luck to both of these guys. Shake it off a little bit. And uh, let's go. Gray says, Lotos, let's go. If Lotos can win this point, then we will be going to a third battle. And I know that's what everybody wants to see. So this next CAD vs. CAD battle in our World Championship of 3D CAD Speed Modeling, featuring Lotos from the Ukraine using Compass 3D and Dom from the United States using SolidWorks, our number six seed versus our number 10 seed, begins in three, two, one, go! What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? We are back to metric. That's what we like to see. Both of our runners are grabbing a screen capture of this print, and both of our runners are jumping into their CAD system and coming up with a strategy. So here we see on the right, we've got Dom, and on the left, we've got Lotos. And Dom is starting out looking down at the top, and wow, look how fast Dom was able to add those fillets to the corners. That was incredible. And that's gonna be important because those slots are gonna be concentric to those fillets. So getting those fillets in there, but I mean, he just did it with a, Geez, I don't even know. That was that was incredible. That was just incredible. Uh, so, wow. Okay, and now while using a... Pl look, like he used a plane there to do a mirror. He doesn't even have a center line there. He just used a plane. I didn't even know you could do that. And it looks like he's going to take this thing up to max height. And then he's going to try to uh, try to come up with the geometry that's going through the middle here. So, Dom, congratulations. Well done on that taking first blood on that, uh, that extrusion. And he is really moving through this thing. Lotos on the right, on the left, creating this thing a little bit more in the style that I think I would have created it in, almost like an L shape looking in from the side. That's how I would have done it. You know, create that L shape, maybe cut out some of those pockets and then you're good to go. Uh, but Dom taking a very different approach and we're going to see if that works for him or if it ends up actually causing him some problems when he goes to cut this pocket down from the top. So all eyes on Dom right now to see how he handles this final feature. Looks like he's kind of tracing some of that geometry and wow, just selected everything and now mirroring across that plane again. Holy smokes. This guy has uh, some solid works experience. Very, very impressive. And God in the chat says, I love Dom's approach. Yeah, very, very impressive. Pico Boo in the chat says, slow down, Dom. We can't keep up with you. So Dom turning this thing into, looks like into a, ooh, looks like he's he's turning it into something. Maybe running into a little, SolidWorks giving him a hard time. Oh, wow. 
So, wow, guys, make sure you go back and watch that. Dom had that sketch open. SolidWorks was trying to force him to make it a thin feature, and he said, nope, I'm just going to use contour selection. Wow, 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 wow. That is amazing. Holy smokes. And uh, Dom looks like he may be coming in with an answer here. We're going to watch the chat. We're going to watch the chat. Wow, wow, wow. That was, uh, guys, make sure you go back and watch it. That's like a clinic on how to repair a sketch. And Dom comes in with his answer. Three, eight, seven grams. And that is correct. And we got ourselves our second winner moving on to the round of eight. Wow. Three, eight, seven grams is correct. And well done to Dom. That was absolutely incredible. I don't know if anybody in the tournament could have kept up with Dom on that run. Those were two models that were just, I mean, it was almost like, like, he, like he knew what the geometry was going to be for how fast he went through it. But this is these guys seeing these drawings for the very first time. And uh, holy smokes, especially that second one. I mean, the first one was pretty cool. I don't think it was nearly as complicated as the second one. Uh, both in terms of number of features and also just kind of thinking through the model. And uh, Dom was able to get through both of those. Guys, let's give a huge GG and a shout out in the chat to both of our runners. It is not easy to be here in this tournament, to be sharing your screen with everybody, to know that the world is watching, and uh, to know that you are under that pressure. And I think that both Locos and Dom did a fantastic job in that second half of the show.